Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday, August 4th, and it's kind of a cloudy day, and we're expecting some thunderstorms this afternoon, but it's nice because it's a little cooler. We got through that heat spell. Um, so today, I'm excited. I'm doing two uh, techniques that I really love, partial die cutting and embossing, and I'm combining the two for a few cards, and I'm going to show you how to make a couple of them. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is, um, this is these are the cards we're, we're making. Actually, we're going to make this one, and this one is made the same. It's just a horizontal version, and it's it's a little bit different, but I'll explain that. Okay, so let me flip over so you can see that better. Okay. All right, so... I shouldn't fool around with this camera too much, otherwise it's going to really screw up. Okay, so we're using the Blessings of Home stamp set. Um, this has been out for a little while, but I do love it. It's a beautiful set. Um, it also has the dies with it. And, oops, I keep them together. And the embossing folder I'm using is called Pretty Flowers. It's also beautiful. And it's it really works nicely with any cards, but especially flower cards. So let's get started. So our base. Let me put this out of the way here. Our base is your typical eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. And I used white. Then the sec what I did next was I um, stamped the flowers in crumb cake because I wanted a light uh, edging, not a hard line. So I stamp and I've already done that um, to move this along a little bit. So I stamped that and I stamped it close to this edge. Here's your fold right here. So you can see better what the card's direction. So what I'm doing is um, putting it closer to this edge because we're going to be cutting that edge. Okay. So once I stamped it, I colored it with colored pencils. I don't know if you can see that okay. Um, I like coloring with colored pencils. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to emboss it. If you notice, if you can see the texture on this, um, I embossed the whole thing. Once it was colored and stamped, I embossed the whole thing. So I'm going to do that right now. All right. So now that I've embossed it, I'm going to cut out the flower. And like I said, I'm going to line this up, and especially with the fact that this has a lot of texture. Um, you want to make sure it doesn't move when you're cutting it. Um, put that through. And like I say, you only put the top plate as far as you want it to cut. So I'm going halfway into the flower. So when you take off the die, carefully, you see that part of it is cut. And you just have to snip the edges up to the rest of the card to finish the cut. You can do this with your snips, which is pretty easy because it's not much to cut. Or you can stick it in your 
um, cutting and um, platform if you feel a little better about it. You know, another thing I wanted to tell you too was uh, a good thing to do when you're getting ready to cut this is to um, just put a little pencil mark on either end so that you get it nice and straight. Okay, which I already did, so I have it um, already cut, uh, lined up. Okay, and then that just pops off, and then you've got your cut edge. Pretty. Okay, so now um, The inside, uh, what I did with the inside is I put some gorgeous grape on the inside to kind of go with this flower here. And that one, uh, the, the, uh, Dimensions are four by five and a quarter because you want it to just have a slight border um, inside the card. And then because this is dark, I wanted to put a little piece of white, but you want to make sure it's hidden under the, the flowers. It doesn't stick out. So it has to be a little bit smaller. So I made it uh, two and a quarter by three and three quarters. And um, just look at it to see, you know, how far up you need to put it. Now, before I put that in there, I'm going to stamp it. And I picked out um, a small flower from Nature's Prints that it kind of matches the other flowers. Um, and I'm going to stamp that in curry, crushed curry, to add some yellow. And that, like I say, we're going to put it close to the inside. Check your edges to make sure it's not sticking out. Because you kind of have to look at the top and the bottom. Okay. And what I'm going to do is put a... Oops, where's my pencil? There we go. Right make a little mark so I know exactly where to lay it down with the glue. Okay. I can't wait to show you the other one, the other two cards. <laughs> They're adorable. All right, let's see what we got. Perfect. Now I also put a piece of yellow ribbon and I should have made a space for the ribbon to go in. So we have enough lift on the edge that we can do that. Okay. So the ribbon piece is about seven inches long and um, you wanna put it inside the edge of the purple. So we're going to use a glue dot put it on the edge and then slide it underneath the purple okay And leave a little bit of an edge with your purple so that what's happening with the picture here? We lose the lost my extra camera here. Hold on. There we go. Boy, today's full of uh, mishaps. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So now we've got it connected at the top. We're going to bring it down 
and we don't need quite this much so i'm going to cut it off because it's less bulk to put inside the card and do the same thing put a glue dot on the edge lay it down nice and flat and straight and then just lift up the corner of your purple liner and tuck your ribbon in there and i don't know what's going on with my camera it's like the day of errors here and i'm really sorry oh boy okay okay so that's there and now we're going to put a few um gems on and we need our sentiment so i like to i like to put color on my sentiment strips and today i'm going to do the gorgeous grape just to give it coordination with the rest of the flowers and so forth okay so i need to and to just lightly this is a strong color so you have to be careful when you uh i would uh wipe it off a little bit before you put it on there so. okay and then i chose uh thinking of you i like that saying and i'm going to I'm going to use black just to make it stand out more. Okay. And I'm going to put those on dimensional, that on dimensional so it stands up a little bit. Oops. And I put that right at the base of the card on the front. Here. I'm going to flatten this a little bit. No, it closes better. I also noticed this, the edges need a little bit of glue because they're kind of raising with the ribbon. So um, just put a dot of glue and hold it for a minute. And another thing that I like to do too, when you have a loose, a lot of ribbon like that, a, a good sized piece of ribbon, is I put a glue dot about halfway down to hold it in place so that it doesn't uh, get caught. And just gently press on that. There. So that'll keep it from flapping around. So that's, let's put a couple of gems on this one, and then I'll show you the other two that I made from this. Um, I have, these are pretty elegant faceted gems, and I'm going to use the clear ones. I like the clear ones. One there. One there. one there perfect okay so that's for this card this is another version that i made but i did an in a horizontal way uh design and um 
I cut, I die cut like I did with this one, but then I just cut part of the white section to make a sort of a banner. And then I glued the whole thing down flat even but it, with the it's still dimensional because of the die cutting and the extra layer but it was done the same way of the coloring and everything I seemed to get it to uh stay up there but let's see if i can do it once more and get the cards in there for you all right so we've got the vertical one the horizontal one and then the piggy If you would like to see how to do this, it's the, the application's a little bit different. So um, the cutting and the layering and so forth, but you can um, leave me a note, leave me a comment and um, I will do a, a video on making this card and maybe a few others on this idea too with the figures at the top, okay?